This is amazing. How to search from my embeddings data using ChatGPT API, how to do similarity search. Then that can be used to feed into ChatGPT for more accurate results. That's exactly what we are going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about basics in searching from your embeddings data. In this, how can we do similarity search from the embeddings and pass it to ChatGPT for more accurate results? But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence in my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. I've already covered how to create embeddings in my previous video, which I will link that in the description below. So this is a continuation where we are going to use similarity search from the saved embeddings. Currently the embeddings are saved in a CSV file. So first import pandas as pd, next import numpy as np, then import literal eval and then import open ai. Next we are going to create a function called get embedding. This will automatically create embeddings for the user query. Next we are going to define a function called cosine similarity. This will do the similarity search. Next we are going to load the data set and convert the embeddings. Data file path, this is where the embeddings are stored. Next we are reading that file and loading the embedding column. Then we are going to search through those reviews. So basically the embeddings are a list of reviews from Amazon. Next we are going to create a function called search reviews. So the search review function works same as a normal search engine where you enter a keyword and it will return the top results. So in this case, you want to know what the review is telling about tomato soup. So when you type tomato soup here, it will automatically search all the reviews from the list of embeddings using cosine similarity search and give you the top similar reviews. So now we're going to retrieve from the embeddings data set. If you see the CSV, let's search for tomato. As an example search, I'm going to search for tomato and totally two results. I'm going to save that and in your terminal, python embedding.py and click enter. Now we got a result here. Pretty good. It's a flavor filled with chunks of tomato. Best tomato soup. This is powerful. Now if we pass this data to chat GPT, it can answer our question on how did people feel about tomato soup more accurately. So where does this come in the whole rag process? It comes here. So when the user asks a question, we are performing a search against the list of embeddings. If there are any related content, if it is there, then we are retrieving those things and we are sending that to ChatGPT to get an accurate answer. So as of now, we have completed searching those embeddings and retrieving it. I'm going to cover the whole rack process in a separate video, which I will link that in the description below. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.